Hey everybody, this is Farmer Grace again, and we're taking a look at the old mint bed here at the Charlestown Boys and Girls Club. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the insect pest action that's happening in this bed. So Anders let me know that you all were seeing quite a few little beetle grubs in this bed here, and I definitely agree. There's a little beetle grub right there. It really doesn't take much um, for me to just comb through the bed and find grubs, especially these little guys. So those grubs will actually turn into beetles eventually, but they can still do a lot of damage um, at their smaller stage. And they like to feed on the roots of things and will also munch on the very lower leaves of things like lettuce. So we want to try and manage them um, as quickly and effectively as possible. So one of the things I'll do in some of my gardens is when I find a grub, I'll simply pick it up and just smush it, which I know can be a little yucky um, for some of you, but it is, you know, very quick and humane and it gets rid of the problem um, easily if you're just seeing a couple. But since we're seeing so many, it's going to be more effective for us to use something that's a little more broad spectrum. So over here, I have what's called diatomaceous earth. And I know that's a really big word, and it's pretty tricky to spell, but it's actually a pretty um, safe way to control your insect pests, um, such as grubs, in this garden bed. So what diatomaceous earth is, is essentially really old um, fossils like from the ocean. So like imagine little shell bits or old ocean organisms that have been fossilized for many, many years and they're broken down and pulverized into this substance. And I know it looks like a nice soft powder. It looks, to me, it looks a little bit like powdered sugar or flour. Um, but to little bugs that have these like really soft bodies, such as our grubs, ooh, here's a big guy. Um, it's going to actually, you know, scratch their skin and it's going to cause them to get dehydrated and they'll eventually die um, in the soil. And this is a really quick way to uh, manage our insects. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I apply this. Since we're doing a dry application, uh, we normally just do this as a sprinkle. And generally you want to put it around the plants that you have in the bed, but since this bed is going to be dormant for the winter. I'm just going to do a fairly liberal application over the whole soil surface. And it really doesn't take too, too much. But I'm just going to try and sprinkle it on the soil surface. And luckily it's not too much of a windy day. But on really windy days, you don't want to be applying this because it'll blow everywhere. So eventually, the grubs will come across this and they'll inhale it or ingest it in some way. And it will start to break down their soft, smushy little bodies. And that will help us solve our grub problem, at least for this season. And then if we notice them again in future seasons, we can control them again with diatomaceous earth. Alrighty, everybody. 